Hey guys, this is Ernie reporting for VBS from Imperial Valley. In the toxic piece, we focused on all the crazy environmental issues going on in the region, from the air pollution to the drastic beat die-off to the sewage-filled rivers and everything in between. But during the shoot, we, you know, we also made a bevy of characters from our buddy Allen's town in Slab City, who are just as intriguing as all the eco-problems. Well, have you been out to Slabs? It's the last free place. Free, free place, place in America, America, yeah. It's isolation. It's desolation. It's, des it's not involved with the popular culture. Everything here is hostile. The desert doesn't give you anything. It's a treachery and it takes you away. You have to know what you're doing. If you're going to survive in the desert, you'll die. We thought it'd be fun to show you what a typical day is like in this bizarre stretch of area, loaded with tweakers, eccentrics, army vets, hippies, and just plain old fucking weirdos. Uh, welcome to California. We're about to head into Slab City right now. The people there are really cool, but they really like it if you bring them beer. Beer and smokes. They like to party. I like to party too, so it goes hand in hand. It was originally designed by NASCAR for use in the pits and the garage areas, but it's eminently suitable to the environment out here at Slab City, so I just had to have one. It's called a cruising cooler, and I bought it from one of those outfitters catalogs. <laughs> hey, can we take that into Nyland? Uh, Get some more beer? Ernie, settle down. <laughs> Americans, we know how to design top shelf stuff. People have been living here for free since the late 40s. And at one time in the early 90s, the place was like a giant flea market. Believe it or not, this land belongs to the California State Teachers Retirement Pension Fund Management Association. Now that's a long acronym. Yeah, it belongs to the state of California the Teachers Union. It should make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, knowing that your tax dollars are being spent appropriately. Mm -hmm. Culturally, this is this is the farthest. If anybody's ever been to California and then go to Slab City, they'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. There is no California culture here at all. And by that, I mean strip malls and apartment buildings and dune buggies and off-road racing and you know, crowded freeways. and filthy beaches and arrogant politicians. I like to call Slab City a high-tech hobo camp. You look in this little window here and you can see that the flame is burning. Well, you know it's on. You can open it up and reach in here. And you can feel this thing starting to get cold. I just replaced the propane this morning, so it takes a while. Then I use these other little propane bottles to run my heaters and my lanterns and stuff, and I fill them up off of that tank. So I need, I have two of those, and a bunch of those little green ones, and that's about all I need. Slab City has the same cross section that you would find in any so-called civilization. You know, you got really cool people, you got dumbasses, and you got all those in between, you know? And, we're no different from any other outfit that way. We just have fewer people, and, and uh, we have a general consensus to live and let live, and to let let each other alone, and to uh, mind our own business. There's a lot of people that have certainly have seniority that have been here for a very long time, but what we try to do is we try to avoid things like that. We try harder to be polite, perhaps you know than say, New York City, mm -hmm. something like that. I moved out here because I like it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> and relax. Remember, you're amongst friends. This is a Western Diamondback. It is a neurotoxic, more than hemotoxic, poison. snake. Poisonous. And it kills more people in the United States than any other reptile. Up north, you'll see snakes. They have black splotches on here. This is part of what I'm trying to tell you. If you go up north and there's a snake and he's green, and this is red and there's yellow borders, it's a Mojave green. It's a 70% chance you're going to die if you get bit. I think it's seven people out of ten. I mean, you're lucky if you live because it goes right in and shuts you off. Your, it's neurotoxic. It doesn't make a big bite. You don't think much of it, but it goes in there and it's death. It's in there shutting you off. I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. If I hated your guts, and I, I, I wouldn't wish that kind of death on you. If I was trying to extract information from you or something, I might use a snake. <laughs> Just a psychological part. You know, like, where are the children? Where'd you hide them? You know, you, you, I'll, I'll get the information from you. Use your fears on you or something. But I wouldn't wish it on someone. They have to be real serious. I was just one of those little kids, and my mom wouldn't let me have rattlesnakes. And then what happens after getting bit and being through all the hospitals and things, I learned to catch them and get them out of people's yards so people don't get hurt, so I could use the talent I learned from a lot of pain that I wouldn't worse, wish on my worst enemy for catching them and getting them out of the yard, and then I take them a mile or two away. See these bombs? See those bombs exploded? Look at them. If I get bombs, I take them and I call the fire chief. We, we get a hold of somebody, if we can't handle it ourselves, and get them and ask them to come and blow them up. Because there's a marine base over here and sometimes people go over and get bombs, sometimes bombs are over here. So what I'm saying is, the rattlesnake's just like one of those bombs. It's a, like a bomb right there, ready to go off. It, it can make you into a casualty. So what I'm saying is, those aren't some kind of toy. They're just like a, a, a hand grenade that somebody lobbed in the window. A landmine that you're about ready to step on. Well, you, you are doing a good thing capturing snakes so little kids won't get bit by them. I think that's an awesome thing. I don't have no sympathy for these. All this is is an order to earth. When it gets right down to it, and I'm starving, and I'm dying, and I'm trying to survive, and I'm trying to get through, because my foot's got a hole in or something, and I gotta crawl, and I'm gonna eat this some bitch. And I'm gonna crawl over and I eat the man's butt, not yours. Because the man's butt's got more meat to it. Chop off half of it. You need it and crawl down the road and eat that dog's butt if you'll let me get away with it. You know, survival. That's what I mean. Women's butt doesn't have no meat to it. <laughs> this is the back side of Slab City right here, and it is home to a lot of older folk, and I like coming out here because it's like good scenic route. How you doing there, guy? Hello. Are you far from moving? What are you doing there, my friend? It's mine. Oh, I traded. I traded. Uh, I traded my bus in, and I got so this. You have become the Hollywood. Uh, yeah, that's right. Film production. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that we've been playing a lot of music over there. Oh, yes. And we have three new musicians, so um, yeah. come on by. With, you know. So in the evening. Uh, bring Susanna, and you know, come on by. And what time in the evening after sundown? Um, well, anytime, really. Just come on by, and if you see people there, and guess what? My dog had four puppies. I was gonna leave for quartzite today, but okay. I can't go nowhere now. No, 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 no. That's good. That's but, good. That, uh, you know. That's a good reason to be here. Let's check yeah. out the puppies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 All pit bull. Two boys yeah. and two females. Well, let's let's get them to eat. Let's yeah. Get them up. Yeah. It's just the owners you gotta worry about, you know. Right, right, exactly. Exactly. Uh, on with forward. All right. Happy 420. <laughs> This is it. This is my homestead. I've been staying here for about three months. My friends LD and April let me move in over here. And I've been watching their spot for them while they're gone throughout the week. And this is my home. It's also my dog's home. Who unfortunately at this time has four puppies. Yeah. She took this place over and kicked me out. I don't even like being in here. Ah, I just crashed here. I'm really into the mineral aspect of things, and I go out and dig rocks and little knickknacks and crap. I mostly get my stuff from, uh, from gem shows and 
I make little cabs and shit. How'd you learn how to do it? Uh, I don't know. I just kind of took a pair of pliers and some copper wire one day, and I just twisted up some rocks, but I would make stuff like that. It's, like, not even good work. I don't have no tools or no, no inventory or anything. Come on, Oak. Take a pup. Take that puppy. Take that pup. Good girl. Camps are all different, you know, each one of them are unique and they have unique people stay in there and everyone's different so no camp is going to be the same. A lot of people come over here because there's a lot of music here every night, you know. Me and my friend Tony, we uh, sit out here and play and people just show up out of nowhere. And I've met some really good people that way. Dude. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> Did he hit himself? <laughs> oh, it was fucking awesome. Did he, did he hit himself? He just said the whole thing down. <laughs> <laughs> taking some bum baths, I guess. Uh, and hopefully we're not going on another Allen adventure right now. <laughs> Is this what hot springs are? I think he's got his own agenda on that, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it'll be interesting if we do. Huh. Where, where'd the water come from? Right there. From the, from under, from the water table. It's hot. It's like 100, 110, 115 degrees. It's like a hot spring. Yeah. Can Are you I getting get... in? Fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I, I'll get in if you make a fire. Are you going to get in? Uh, only if you get all these girls around here naked. <laughs> you got to make a fire. All right. Deal. <gasps> ah, it's so slimy. <laughs> Sure. Well, right now we're deep inside uh, Slab City Hot Spring, which is about 110, 15 degrees. Yeah, I bet this place is really good for you. And uh, if you were to feel the, no, don't do it. even 50 feet down from here, it'd be boiling water. The Earth's crust out here is only about a mile and a half thick. I'm gonna baptize him. He's gonna baptize me. I'm gonna be an official slabber. Let me see you. Let me see I do baptisms. We're doing baptisms. Come on, baptism. I baptize you in the name of the Lord, the Son of the Holy Ghost. Wait, don't do it yet. Oh, that's too much. Oh. Don't secure their pants. You haven't experienced Lab City unless you've been to the hot springs. And I don't want to get out. <laughs> I can't see the light! Whoa, that went right in my hand. That would have got me right in the balls and I would have been pissed. It would have knocked his boner down. And you can't blame the guy, dude. Because uh, how many girls are in Slap City right now? None that I'd fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just like stay in a place for like a 
normal amount of time or like a like set amount of time. I'm just I, like, I'm just kind of like I don't know. I come out here to sorry just to uh, just to relax. You Is know, this your first time out here? Huh? Is this your first time? Been for like three years. No, I've been here for like three years. So it's just time to like move on. No, not necessarily. This place will always be with me. You know, mm -hmm. I always come back here. In the car? Uh, yeah, Dave, is it cool if I fucking do this real quick? It'd be faster to take part and do it on foot. You wanna what? go with? If, if me... I'm just meeting up with somebody real quick. Okay. With everybody or? Uh, just you and me. You see it? Is that cool? I mean, like, I they can stay here here. for 10 minutes, right? While we do this? Just someone has to come with me. You know okay, I mean? yeah, 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 I'll go with you. You don't have to go with me. No, yeah, 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 I'll you go with you. Want someone to go with me, okay? Hey, Alan, where are we going to right now? Dope man's house. What kind of dope we to get? Uh, crystal meth. Meth has been going on here since shit, Christ was born, it seems like. But more often than not, you'll find uh, good people, even if they are tweakers. I hope my mom doesn't see this. <laughs> that looks fucking a little sketchy right there. Hi. Hi. Hello, I'm Fair Drive. How are you doing? I'm just fine. You like my new car? Yeah. Hey, let me talk to you for a second, yeah? I just, you need, you need dough, man. Yeah, I want some dope. I'm gonna have to go get it. Hey, 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 be nice. Be nice, be nice. All right, you take care. Yeah, All right, be we careful, don't do anything you have to do. If you do, name it after me. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> hmm, running out of places to go, huh? I usually do. What do you think, Ernie? <laughs> oh shit. I was going oh, with slow. Oh shit. I'm already stuck. You're neutral, you're neutral. No, I'm in rivers. I'm just feathering it. Alright, we need you to push it. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna have to. Okay, hold on. Before we're we get to incredibly stuck, we're gonna dig this bitch out real quick. It's only gonna take 10 minutes. Alright. I know it's right there. Jet tire. Is the shovel in here? I hope the shovel's in here. There we go. That's the road I missed. I was looking for that bitch. Next stop. Uh, well, Mr. Toad's wild ride has ended. <laughs> I, I, I was in the red. How you doing, Mr. White Knuckles? <laughs> No, I, I I stopped drinking a while ago. Yeah. Either or, if, if Peter, I, I could drive. If you're, is that fun? Drive. Is that fun or what? Yeah, that was fucking fun. I I did, I, I was on edge the whole time. <laughs> Dude, 
Growing up in this area of California, I've always felt a strong connection to Slab City, but it never felt like home to me. Now though, I feel like a slabber and I fucking love it. I didn't, I didn't really want to come back up here.